Hello! Let me start by thanking Jesse Green for the great idea of this video. As promised, I will always try to make the videos that you guys suggest. So let's get into if all animals disappear. What if we woke one morning and all the animals had vanished? Well, shock, fear and confusion I guess, but let's go with this hypothetical. I guess the first question would be why? A disease would be most likely and we would have to check if we were immune or we would be the next species to say goodbye. But we find no disease. All the animals have just disappeared. Let's put the reason for their disappearance aside. That's a whole new can of worms. Well, a can anyways. The worms have vanished. You can speculate on why in the comments below. So we wake up to silence. No morning chorus, no insects buzzing, just silence. The first animals we would notice missing would be our pets. Often as much of a family member as any relative, that loss would be bad enough for many. So we've dealt with the loss of Fido, but things will become worse. Much, much worse. Our planet is full of amazing ecosystems in which all life depends on other life in all its varying forms. It's a cycle that should never be broken. As strong as it may seem, it's a house of cards. Remove one link and the whole thing comes crashing down. No doubt the loss of all the animals would terrify us, but it may not cause our immediate demise. We need to consider the other life forms that share this planet and would be left with us. Plants. Plants are the producers of the planet. They take the sun's energy and through photosynthesis convert that energy into a form which then can be ingested by living creatures. Their roots hold the world together, but they have not disappeared yet, only animals. But with the animals gone, we would have only one life cycle left for most plant species. With the insects and the animals not around to pollinate and allow... A as scary as this sounds, we could see this very thing happening today. Bees are the pollinators that transfer pollen and seeds from one flower to another, fertilizing these plants so they can grow and produce our food. Cross-pollination helps at least 30% of the world's crops and 90% of the world's wild plant population. Without bees to spread this seed, many of these plants, including our food crops, would die off. This would take some time, would be a slow death, not an immediate catastrophe. If the bees disappear off the surface of the globe, the man would only have four years left. No more bees, no more pollination, no more plants, no more animals, no more man. So now we're looking at famine. 250 million tons of meat is consumed at an average of 224 grams per day per person. With no animals around to meet this demand, we would see massive, massive famine. The longer the time passes without animals, the more deadly things become. Now with people starving to death and the plants dying, the rot sets in. The corpses polluting the air, the ground and the water. The earth's surface would literally rot as dead vegetation piled up and dried out, closing the channels of the nutrient cycles. Other complex forms of vegetation would die off also. And with them, all but a few remnants of the land vertebrates would survive. I for one would not fancy living in a world filled with rotten carcasses, no matter how much I enjoy the walking dead. Now time is really against us. The world has become apocalyptic, a living hell for many. On a positive note, there may not be disease. The microbes that cause illness and sickness, they vanished along with the other animals. But bacteria remain. Thankfully, they are not animals and we are hugely dependent on them. In our own bodies, bacteria outnumber our cells 10 to 1. One very important job both bacteria and microbes carry out is that of being decomposers. Would they be able to reproduce fast enough to stop the world filling with rotten corpses? 
If they couldn't reproduce quick enough, we'd be left with a world full of bodies waiting for them to weather away, the wind scattering the remains far and wide. With the decomposition cycle now broken and no animals foraging and no plants left behind, we would see an increase in desertification, this leading to dust storms and yet more air pollution, the earth growing more and more toxic daily, the systems that cleaned the planet crumbling. After many, many years, the atmosphere would change so drastically without plants and animals that the systems that produced the air we could breathe, they would have collapsed. CO2 levels would rise along with many other toxic gases. Eventually, Earth would become a barren rock. No plants, no animals, and no life. A dead rock, a hollow monument to when life flourished. So, Next time you tuck into a juicy steak or swat away a fly, be thankful as all life from large to small is here helping maintain the status quo on our special blue planet. We must take care to protect them and by doing so, protect ourselves. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment below and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like and subscribe. Till next time.